Your mum's vase on the ledge next to you probably isn't a good idea. Yo! I am Vanessa the Girl on a Bike and today we are going to be turning things on their head. What? This is video number three in my series of balance training. Stay home, stay safe and let's use this time in isolation to improve our motorbiking skills off the bike. Headstands. Now, stay tuned, do not freak out because there is three different levels of headstands and I honestly believe that everybody is able to do at least level one. Maybe you just have some fun trying level one, but at least you can give it a go and that's what it's all about. So, first up, let's get on with headstands. What I want you to do is make sure that you have a, a nice area so that if, if you fall over, don't worry, falling over isn't necessarily going to hurt. It's not like falling off a motorbike. But have an area that you can work in that's going to be a relatively safe environment. You know, your mum's vase on the ledge next to you probably isn't a good idea. I'm in my garage, which is probably my favourite place in the house. I would recommend having something to put your head on because I don't know about you, but my body weight on my head is a little bit painful. So let's get some padding. There we go. I've just got a rag from our rag cupboard. I'm gonna put that down and that's gonna stop my head getting hurt. So, level one. Level one is really just about getting ourselves upside down. Or when you think about really deep breathing, and using, engaging your core in all of these levels. Okay, so you're gonna need some kind of object. It's going to look a little bit crazy getting into it, but the idea of this level is that you're super controlled and you are supported. So work out where your head's gonna go and get onto your object, okay? Pop your head down on the ground and then you're going to work yourself up until you are in an upright position. As easy as that. That's level one. Pretty low risk, okay? Um, okay, talking upside down is actually making all the blood <sighs> go to my head. So let's come back upright. Level two, level two, we're gonna use something behind us. So I've got this unit here, that's going to be my support, and that's gonna stop me falling that way if I go too far. Okay, we're gonna get our head down, and then you can put your foot back onto that object and hold on. So you can see that my heels are tucked onto our workbench. And it means I'm not gonna go back too far and I can get used to being upside down. From this level, you can then try and take the balance to level, let's call this level three. So now you can see I am balancing completely on my own. Yeah, and now you just get to decide how long you want to stay upside down for. The longer you stay upside down, the more core that you're using. Okay, so who's level for level four? Level four, okay. Now, level four, you are a little bit more likely to fall over. So I'm gonna put a little bit of protection in. Because while I want to get fit and have fun, I also wanna make sure that I don't have any injuries and then end up really embarrassed going to the medical services and saying, I hurt myself doing a headstand in the garage. So, padding. <laughs> this is just an old rag that we use when we're under the cars or rolling around on the floor in the garage. It's filthy. I don't care. Okay. 
So this is just a little bit of padding so that if I fall over in my headstand, I'm not going to hurt myself. So level four is about holding your core upside down but then adding to it with some dynamic movements of the leg. This is a little bit harder, have a play and feel what you can do. I'll just do a whole load of different examples and um, give it a go. is the hardest one it engages all of your core because your, your body weight just wants to go over cool okay so quite quick easy one today level one level two level three and level four which level are you going to make it please give it a go make sure you're doing it safely and controlled you can always get your you know household member who's also in isolation to hold your legs for you to make sure it's safe. I'm Vanessa, the girl on a bike. Please hit subscribe, tick the little bell to get notifications of my content. And if you're on Instagram and Facebook, please head on over and give me a follow. Let's try and make the most of this isolation together. If you have any ideas for videos I could do, I'd love to hear from you. Please pop something in the comments below. Thank you for watching, stay safe, stay home and let's get balancing.